Three home games after the regular season and today is the first game since the passing of our much-loved Chief Executive Jason Turner. There's been an outpouring of tributes since his passing and we plan to honour him at today's game with a minute's applause before kick-off. There's three, there's three home games left, there's five games left overall of the regular season. Let's get the job done. Come on Knox, come on you pies, let's do this. Yeah, Jason Turner's one of the big reasons why we've turned around our fortunes in recent years. He guided us through some tough times and his communication with the fans was first class. As for the team news, Kevin Scott's back, he's on the bench. Jody Jones is in the starting 11. Ruben Rodriguez isn't there at all as a precaution after coming off against Salty, which was 10 days ago. But, oh well, hopefully he's back for Monday. Because, well, yeah, Monday. We'll think about that after this game. Um, Baldwin's, at, Baldwin's back at centre off. Badger, uh, Badger and Rollo are out of the team. A few changes. <laughs> Lead four men from the last five games, Knotts have won four and drew one. And if we win today, it's the first time the club will have ever got 100 points in a season. Wheelston have won one, drew one, and lost three. And they still have an outside chance of the playoffs, being eight points off seven, with 18 points left to play for. them two cheap corners and um, yeah we've just got to keep on top of things really our tempo's got to stay at a high standard there's a beautiful finish by Sam Austin as well right into the bottom corner I think actually no it was off the post got to keep things going though keep it, keep it going keep it at a high tempo Come on, it's getting tidy. I just said it we're getting on tidy we've got to keep on top of things Right, um, yeah, we, we've slowed down since the goal, to be honest. We really have. Um, been a little bit careless, a little bit. With, been a little bit careless with possession. We've had a few chances as well. Langstaff off, Langstaff off the post. Um, yeah, we have had plenty of chances as well, as well as that, to make it more comfortable, but... Just been a day where we haven't taken our chances so far. Well, I'm thinking we should be ahead of this. We should be a bit more than one goal clear. Langstaff really on another day. Langstaff could have had three. Um, Sam Austin's been absolutely exceptional that first 25 minutes. He's been everywhere. Scored. Could have had another. Wilson are keeping very, very close lines around the, the middle of the pitch. They're not giving us a lot of room to play with. We're having to do a little bit more, more than we used to. But when we play football, we're creating chances. And if, if we carry on second half the way we played the first, then they should end up being quite comfortable. Yeah, that's the one. Oh. Early chance of Cameron, but he, he failed to connect with the free kick. We keep trying the diagonal ball as well. So Langstaff or Bostock is making the third man runs. Mace has tried it this time to the corner.
Macaulay Lundstrom. We've never seen a striker like him at Meadow Lane. Peace of the nuts. O'Brien is on for Bostock and Vincent's on for Aaron. Um, Chickson's gone to right wing back. It's a bad jam. It's a bad jam. What did we sing it? O'Brien is his partner. Yeah, it's not. It's not even hard to say. It literally rhymes. Another goal sealed this, hopefully. Sam Austin's had a brilliant game. He has. He's always. He's brought himself about. He's always. His energy. He's um. He's running with the ball. He's running with the ball's been exceptional. <laughs> with the third goal some great football as well in the build up it was that good I can't even remember who was even part of it kick some ball across Kevin. yeah take, take some of the ball across um, Kevin's shot was safe from a tight angle but Vincent followed up with the goal O'Brien's been really good since he's come on you know he's been excellent he's been everywhere I'm not even going to mention what's just happened at the shake because I'll curse it. I'm not saying anything. I'm not saying anything. I don't want to say who. But they did kick off late, so they have more time than us. But we, we, this game is pretty much done on, a, on our end. I've beaten them 9 1 on aggregate. today like <laughs> I don't know what a crazy day it's been um, in terms of results especially in this league it's been been wild but yes uh, firstly a fantastic tribute to Jason Turner and the result and the performance he would have wanted um, a professional performance especially after all the after what all the club has been through all week the mentality to go out there and put on a professional performance like that is top class, it really is. And it just shows the mentality of this group and what it's been like all season. And that that comes from the top of the club. Um, and it continues with Luke Williams, Ryan Orley and the players. And it's just fantastic. First off, I thought we didn't really get out of second gear. To us, I don't think we really got out of second gear all game, um, really. Some of the pa the pressing was good, but some of the passes in the first half were a bit uh, a bit sloppy, really. Um, but a good finish by Sam Austin puts us one goal up, which is which comes from like I say, good pressing, a really nice finish into the corner, and then um, we don't we we have a few chances to make it uh, to extend the lead. Langstaff has a headache, goes off the post. And then he has one which is well saved by Sam Howes, in which I think he, I know he wanted that record at the time, because he was still on 40 at that point. Um, I would have left it for Sam Austin at the back post. We upped it in the second half, we upped our tempo a bit, and we, we got up them more. Archie May with a superb ball down the centre, Langstaff gets onto it, he's onside, and he breaks the record, Maka Langstaff, the man of the moment. 41 goals this season, what a signing he's been. We've never seen a striker like him at Meadow Lane before. I thought Sam Austin was deserving of his Man of the Match award. Like I said, he's, he's energetic. He runs forward with the ball. Good pressing. A good finish for his goal as well. 
Matty Palmer and John Bostock controlled the game. They have been excellent consistently. I thought Archie May had another good game as well. Another clean sheet and his distribution as well was really good. Calm under pressure too. And Luke Williams has got a big decision because if Slow comes back fit for Monday, he's got a big decision on who to put in. Then the 70th minute rolled around and the cop was jubilant. It was just a wall of noise as Halifax took the lead and then they made it three late on. But today would have all been for nothing if we don't turn up on Monday. And I mean that from the players to the fans as well. We have got to be on it all game, atmosphere-wise and on the pitch as well. That game is the game. That is the battle for the control of destiny. That is the clash of the best in this league this season. It's such a big climax to the season and the winner will absolutely deserve it. If you've enjoyed the vlog, give it a like, comment down below your thoughts on the game. Stay subscribed to your subscribe, subscribe if you're new. Be safe, be champions, and as always, to